It's a pretty slow day today. We could go home early. I decided to go to Woodbine Beach. Today, Friday, was my very last full day in Canada. I posted my last post on Instagram today. I'm completely done being their social media manager. It was very bittersweet. I was getting like super emotional because there are so many things I'm gonna miss. So it's like 4.30 in the morning on um, Saturday morning. The cab that's gonna come pick me up and take me to the airport is coming in about an hour and then my flight leaves at 8.30. Hey guys, so Monday. Today is technically a civic holiday, so everybody is pretty much off of work. Except, of course, my work. So I still had to go to work today. When I got to work, it was a little bit creepy because King and Bay is in the financial district. And so, of course, since it's a civic holiday, all of the banks are closed. The whole building that we're in, we are pretty much like surrounded by banks. So like everything was closed. That also includes like the building itself. Like the building itself, it's like, it's still open and you can like get in and everything, but it's also closed or like shut down. It's kind of hard to explain. All the elevators still work and everything. So I was able to get up on the floor, but as soon as I got to the floor, like basically only the emergency lights are on. All of the hallway lights, they weren't even turned on. The lights also included the bathroom. Like I said, only the emergency lights were on and I could not find any of the light switches. I talked to my coworkers about it and they said, oh yeah, it's like, it's it's controlled by the building. They have a separate area for all of the switches. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I'm gonna have to go through this whole day with like no lights in the bathroom. That is so creepy. Also the what included in that was the air conditioning. So the building kind of shut down the air conditioning as well. When I walked into our lounge, I was like sweating. It was like so hot. We are surrounded by windows. Our building kind of faces the east and the south side. For the whole morning, you have the sunlight coming in and bringing in so much heat with it. So it was an interesting morning. Didn't really do much. I did my post as usual. Jason, who is like the other new hire that came in, both of us were just kind of like hanging out at work like pretty much this whole morning. The guys actually had their meeting because they usually have a weekly Monday meeting. They also got pizza for the whole team for lunch. After that, our supervisor told us that it's a pretty slow day today, so honestly we could go home early. Yay! So I got like an early day today because it was actually pretty hot out today. I decided to go to Woodbine Beach, which is along the GTA, along the Greater Toronto area. So it took about 20 to 30 minutes on the streetcar to get there and of course it was super packed so many people are lined up along the coastline so I just kind of like laid out my towel laid out a little bit waded into the water I didn't actually go swimming swimming so it was kind of nice just to like lay there and just be at the beach for a little bit I was there for a few hours and then I came back around dinner time. I had my exit interview tonight as well with uh, the program, so the intern group program. They do an exit interview with all of their interns at the end of their trip to get some feedback about the internship, the process, the program, and all sorts of stuff like that. It went really well, pretty quick. It didn't go as long as you know I was expecting it to go. After that, um, I got a message from one of like the July group of interns and she wanted to go try out a shisha lounge that she knew of. So I went with her to there. Of course I didn't do anything because I don't smoke and I'm not just saying that for the camera. I legitly don't smoke. But I just kind of like chilled with my friend. They had some food. We also played a game of Monopoly Deal and we just kind of talked and really got to know each other a little bit more. And then I got back home around like 10, 30, 11. So that's it of today and that's it of day 66. Hey guys! So Tuesday. Today at work was um, an organization day. I do have a Google Doc with all of the captions that I've written for Instagram so far and like some practice captions and some captions that I haven't 
posted yet. I am planning on sending that document to Jason so that he has it for future use and so that um, maybe like interns in the future would have that as well. Even though you can go on Instagram and you can see those captions, there's stuff that I haven't posted yet that already have captions written for them. So I was really reorganizing that. I also uh, finally got to edit some pictures that I took on Friday. So it was just kind of one of those days to really reorganize my thoughts. I didn't shoot any garments. There was a shipment that came in later on tonight but um, the garments wouldn't be steamed and ready for photos until tomorrow. Oh, I also did take um, some pictures of some clients. There was like a father and son pair who had like these really special garments. It was just, just a really sweet story, but I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to say it on camera. The guys did say that they would like to do like a whole feature story based on this. Since I leave in a few days, I won't be able to do it. So unfortunately, I won't be able to be here to actually post that story. But it was still really cool being the one to actually take the pictures. That's pretty much what happened at work today. And then I came back home, had some dinner. I did start packing just a little bit. I just kind of packed everything that I know I really haven't worn at all and I know I'm not going to wear for the rest of the week. And then I went over to one of the other residence halls and had a fun night with some of the other interns. We played Monopoly Deal, we just kind of talked. I haven't seen them in like over a week, except for one of them yesterday. But other than that, yeah, I haven't like seen everybody else for like a week. And that's pretty much it of today, and that's it of day 67. Hi guys! So, Wednesday. Very interesting day at work today. Definitely different than everything that I've been doing. This was another day that Jason came in, but of course he didn't come in until like later today. There was a shipment that came in yesterday. They were still steaming it this morning, so I couldn't really take any pictures of the garments yet. Around noon, one o'clock, my supervisor told me that we were gonna be filming a video of me. They did this with their previous intern, where they basically asked her a bunch of questions about her experience working at King and Bay, and they kind of shot some b-roll footage of her doing her job. They did the same thing for me because it's going to be like a video portfolio of everything that I've done here at King and Bay. That was like really really nice, but it took literally like the rest of the afternoon to film it. Originally, Jason and I shot it first with all the questions and stuff. I had a little bit of a hard time like answering the questions and like talking. Then we shot some b-roll and then my supervisor took a look at the interview questions and so we decided to reshoot it with some of these questions. There were so many different points that I could talk about um, and that I wanted to include and that we wanted to include but some of the points I kept forgetting so we had to write them down on cue cards so that way I wouldn't forget. But that literally took like the whole rest of the time. Most of the garments were done by that point and I had brought them into the office but I never even got a chance to shoot them. I'm gonna have so much to shoot tomorrow. That was pretty much what happened at work today. When I got home from work I went out to dinner with my friend. My coworkers had told me about this one pasta restaurant called The Sauce. It's spelled S-O-S, -S, The Sauce. My friend and I went there. I had this like four cheese gnocchi, I think that's how you pronounce it, with tomato sauce and garlic bread. And then we came back to my residence hall because I'm still alone. I've been alone for a week and a half now and we just kind of chilled here. That's it of today and that is it of day 68. So Thursday. Basically at work today I shot garments in the morning, finally able to get those garments photographed. But the thing is is that early on in the morning it was pretty dark outside because there was like a storm that rolled through at like 10, 11 o'clock. I made it to work just in time though. I was like almost unable to shoot the garments because of how dark it was because we use the natural light from the windows to shoot the garments. There is a lighting kit available for us but there's been no bulbs for the lighting kit because I think they had tried using some bulbs and they bought the wrong ones or something like a while ago. So like this whole time I haven't been able to use like the lighting kit. And now that Jason is here and Jason is like an actual photographer, he convinced them to uh, get a light bulb. So they did and so I actually used the light bulb for my shoot today. I ended up reshooting the garments anyways later on because as I was trying to edit them later on, 
um, yeah, they didn't turn out so well. So I did that like in the morning and kind of in the afternoon. Also for lunch today, I went out to lunch with my friend. We went to Dineen Coffee, which I actually went to on Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday because she's been wanting to go there. So that was pretty much like the work day and then I actually stayed at work past my time today. At around 6.45, my team brought me into the lounge. You know how I said yesterday we were shooting my video portfolio? Well, Jason actually edited it within like almost 24 hours. So they showed my video to the rest of the team and the team gave me a letter. They also said like, you know, thanks. Thanks for being here and thanks for doing everything that you've been doing. And I was like, I was so speechless. I'm just like, oh my gosh, thank you guys. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. And then we all went to Scatabush for my farewell dinner. My team set up like a whole farewell dinner for me, which was really nice of them. I'd been to Scatterbush a while ago with some of my friends and I only got their garlic bread there, but I, it was like that fancy garlic bread and I was like, yes, I wanna go back there because my friends had gotten pizza the last time there. I wasn't too hungry for that that last time but like the pizza looked really good. So all of us went to Scatterbush for dinner and we had a really nice time. I had garlic bread, I had pizza, I had pasta. And after that, I came back to my residence hall and I was trying to start packing, but then I FaceTimed my mom. So then I didn't get any packing done. So now I'm gonna have a lot more for tomorrow, which oh, is a lot. That's it of today. And that is it of day 69. It's currently 8.23 right now on Friday night. I'm kind of doing this midway because I honestly have no idea what's gonna be going on for the rest of the day. My flight leaves in literally like 12 hours. Today, Friday, was my very last day of work and my very last like full day in Canada. And it was just like a nice chill day. There was stuff that I definitely had to finish and that included some more garments that didn't get shot. One thing I actually figured out this morning was that yesterday I took pictures of some of the linings. So there was like one jacket that had like these really, like a really good lining on the inside and I took pictures of them but somehow I deleted all of my copies of the raw files before I got to put them in and edit them. I was like so focused on the garments instead of the lining and I edited the garments but I forgot to edit the linings and then I just deleted everything before yeah. This morning, like, when I woke up, I suddenly remembered about it and I was like, oh shoot. So yeah, I checked everything and yep, I was right, everything was deleted. So I basically had to reshoot the lining today. I also helped Jason with another little project that um, we were doing. One of my colleagues actually bought me some French toast made out of, I can't even pronounce it, chal chalal bread. It's Jewish. I love breakfast foods. And so I literally brought breakfast foods to lunch a lot. All of my coworkers kind of like made that a joke among everybody. So one of my coworkers actually bought me some French toast made of that bread. <laughs> it was really good. It was really good. So I actually had that at like 11 this morning, 11, 11.30. And then I went to lunch with my friend at around one. And of course I went to go get truffle fries again because it was my last time I could ever have truffle fries. But of course, since I had like the French toast earlier, I wasn't that hungry. I was like eating pretty much all day today. Oh my goodness, my stomach is still full. After I had lunch with my friend, I went to uh, Shoppers and bought a card for my team to write a thank you in there for them because they did that for me last night. They wrote a thank you card for me last night. So wanted to give something back to them for everything that they've done for me here. Pretty much when I got back from lunch, it was really chill. I posted my last post on Instagram today and I am now officially like kicked out of their Instagram so they changed the password and everything and I logged out so I'm completely done being their social media manager. It was bittersweet posting my last post on Instagram. They're on like 4 35 o'clock. My supervisor mixed up a drink for me. Most of the team had kind of left by this point so there wasn't too many people left in the office. My supervisor Jason and I were just kind of like having a drink, kind of talking a little bit. Then I officially left King and Bay around 5.30. It was very bittersweet. I was getting like super emotional because there are so many things I'm gonna miss. Then I got home around six 
and I've pretty much been packing. And that also includes like cleaning out the kitchen. Since I, again, since I'm the only person in the suite, it's like I don't know when the, when the next person is going to be moving in, which means that I don't want any food to be like sitting in the cupboards and in the fridge and freezer for a long amount of time. I'm pretty much like getting rid of everything. So it's about 8:30 right now. So we're gonna have a little house party for me because it's my last night with. Um, some of the other interns. My flight leaves at 8.30 um, tomorrow morning. My cab is set up for 5.25 a.m., which means I gotta be up at like 4. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna sleep tonight. So that is it of this half of this day. Hey guys, so it's like 4.30 in the morning on um, Saturday morning. I didn't get back to my residence hall until about like 1.30, 2 o'clock. I basically just like went to sleep and I really only slept for like an hour and 15 minutes because I woke up at 3 15 to finish all of my packing there's still some little stuff on the table yet carry-on is all ready my suitcase is all ready it's like really eerie right now because like I said it's 4 30 in the morning I'm like the only one in the suite there is like nobody driving outside there's like hardly anybody driving outside the cab that's gonna come pick me up and take me to the airport is coming in about an hour and then my flight leaves at 8 30. So you can clearly see that I'm back home in my room now. Change of scenery. So I got downstairs to the lobby of my residence hall at about like 5, 5, 10. I checked out. Everything went well. And then the cab was already waiting for me um, by about like 5.20, 5.25. The cab was paid for by the program. We drove to Pearson and I got to Pearson at about like 5.50. The airport was a little bit crazier than what I was expecting because I don't know if this is part of Pearson, if this is part of Toronto, or if this is part of the US. But like, I had to go through the US border control before uh, getting on the plane. I got there, I checked in, I went through security, but then after security, it was border control. It was like the pre-arranged check or something. And I was like confused because I'm like, normally that happens on the other side when you get into the US. So I'm not sure if it's part of Toronto or if it's part of US that's happening. Either way, it took like a half an hour to get through that line because it was like going so slowly. Luckily, I made sure to um, set aside enough time um, for me to get to the airport and stuff because I was not expecting that to happen. By the time I got through border control, it was about 7.15, 7.30. So I basically found my gate, uh, went to Starbucks to get a little something to eat and then waited at the gate until it was time to board. Then I boarded, flight went super well, and now I'm back home. So I arrived back home at around like 10, 11 o'clock, um, Wisconsin time, uh, because Toronto is an hour ahead of us. I have been like super emotional since coming back home. There are so many things that I miss. Basically, that is the end of my Toronto Diaries. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've watched all of the Toronto Diaries or even some of them, thank you for coming with me and joining me on this experience. Bye!